Hello, happy Monday. Thank you for tuning in to 365 Live with Angie B. I am Angie B. And I'm just going to make a little, oops, wrong way. Just making a little adjustment here. There we go. That's better. <laughs> um, Want to thank you guys for your patience. I have been out for the last week and I had came down with a stomach bug. So I was out of commission and feeling pretty gnarly. But Thank you for your patience and your well wishes and everything. It definitely helps speed up the process. But I'm back and ready to rock and feeling better than ever. So thank you for tuning in. So tonight I want to talk about getting off track, getting back on track, and forgiveness. So after being off for a week and getting the stomach flu and whatnot, you know, things leading up to it, I was, I myself was getting a bit off track and kind of all started back on my birthday and birthday, lots of sweets, lots of food, lots of everything. And, you know, I did well and I, you know, don't get me wrong, you celebrate those things. However, I like probably many people out there tend to take it to a next level, which I did. I definitely indulged. And then the following week was nurses week and God bless all of the CNAs and everybody at Valley for treating us like absolute kings and queens for the week. Um, there's again, a lot of food, a lot of things around and leading up into that and just kind of shirking on my workouts and not following my plan, my nutrition plan like I like to every day. Um, it really did a number with my health. And one of the things that it really messed with, I think, is just even my immune system. So when I went down last week, it's like I went down hard and full blown stomach flu and not to get TMI or anything, but it just, it was nasty. And I can't say, oh, it was because of this or because of that. Cause when you get sick, you get sick. However, I do really feel that when you aren't, treating your body like you normally do or getting like myself, like staying on my routine with my shakes and my workouts and everything. I think it, it weakens my system. I really do. And so that being said, I was out for a week. Well, then the whole mental thing starts getting at me is, okay, I've been off track and now I'm sick. And now, you know, I haven't been doing the things I need to do. And kind of the starting of beating yourself up and feeling guilty and everything like that. And along with those things, then comes, well, the despair, or at least for me. Oh, well, you know, what am I even doing? Like why, you know, I'm just falling back into normal old routines and everything like that. And that's just how my mind works. And the funny thing is when I was sick, I wasn't really looking at my badass calendar because I wasn't feeling hot. But I went back and I found this excerpt. It's from last Friday. And again, those of you that watch me know I'm obsessed with my You Are a Badass calendar. Um, I just, I love it. So I'm going to read it to you and then just kind of show you how everything ties in. So... As you go through the habit forming process, you will hit oil slicks on your road to success. You'll stay snugly in bed and blow off running on the treadmill before work, and you will erupt into a tirade of expletives <laughs> behind the wheel of your car, contrary to your no being an a-hole decree. The question is not whether you'll slip up, but how you'll choose to respond when you do. Getting back on track with your habit ASAP is critical. But how about if you also spend the time you usually reserve for beating yourself up or whining about what a dope you are on instead immediately forgiving yourself? This huge, huge monstrously spoke to me 
because it, it sums it up. I mean, when you're on a journey and when you're trying to change your life and mine, my big one is my weight loss journey. There are slip ups and I slip up and it's okay. And to think that you're not going to is just setting yourself up for failure right from the start. But it is exactly how it says here. It's not whether or not you slip up. It's how you get back on track. And that's the important thing. And in the past, I would spend probably like days to weeks like beating myself up and being in that negative, depressed place. And, oh, I screwed up again. And then that would lead to my weight gain and everything else. But you know what? Now I feel like I'm on a different road and a different path because I had my slip up, I got sick, I recognized it, and I did something about it. And that's where I'm at right now. And I won't lie, it's embarrassing getting on here because in the last year I'm talking about my weight loss journey, my wellness journey, and like being this, you know, pillar of this is what you do and this is how you do it. But guys, this is part of my process and my journey. And I know it's that way for a lot of you out there too. And the biggest thing that I'm learning is to not beat myself up, to forgive myself and move on and just keep going. That's where discipline comes in. And it's hard. It's super hard. It's so hard. If anyone tries to tell you it's easy, they're lying. <laughs> and... But the important thing is just to keep on going, keep on showing up for yourself, even if it's like a 10 minute walk, getting back into the swing of things, um, getting just like all your water in for a day, getting back on track, you're doing something and you're getting yourself back on track and knowing that there's going to be ups and downs, there's going to be peaks and valleys and they're all okay. That's all part of the journey. And the sooner that you can give yourself some grace and know that anyone who's been on a weight loss journey has been through these exact same things and are currently going through them now, you'll realize that you're not alone. And I realize that I'm not alone. I'm, I'm not any different than the thousands of people that are on journeys of their own. So I'm here tonight just to remind you, it's okay. People get off track but get back on, give yourself some grace and some self-forgiveness. And you keep doing that time and time again, you start stacking your wins. And before you know it, you're succeeding. So I want to thank all of you so much again for your patience in this last week and for tuning in. And please share this with any of your friends or family or loved ones that may be struggling on a wellness journey of their own. And it doesn't even have to be weight loss. It could be anything that you're going through, just trying to get through and pursue. Um, please share. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.